Good evening and welcome to volume eight of Dealmakers of Comic Art. I'm your host, Will Gabrielle, and we're excited to bring your original art onto your screen and into your home. Our format is simple. Two dealmakers will each present 10 fresh pieces of artwork for sale to be claimed by you. But before we begin, there are some new rules we'll need to go over. Dealmakers will showcase a total of 20 pieces. Each dealmaker presents artwork in segments. Each segment highlights three pieces of artwork for sale and lasts about two minutes. The final segment will highlight just one piece of art. It's easiest to claim artwork while it's being presented, but can be claimed anytime during this live event. To claim artwork type, claim the piece number and the dealer. For example, claim three Bashara, claim seven Glenn. This episode, artwork will range from $250 to $11,500, and there will be a rundown at the end of the show for unclaimed art. After that, any remaining unclaimed artwork will be available for 24 hours following this live event on Dealmakers of Comic Art's Facebook page, which the address is on your screen. Viewers are welcome to claim through Dealmakers Facebook page, but again, it's best to claim during this live event. If you claimed artwork, contact, and the contact uh, info is there for Bashara and for Glenn. We will be putting that up again at the end of the show. And again, any unclaimed artwork will be available on the Dealmakers Facebook page. Now let's get started and bring in our Dealmakers. Recently returning from Big Apple Con in NYC, Bashara Malouf of Nostalgic Investments brings fresh material with his seasoned instincts here to make deals hey everybody hey hey hope you're having a great weekend like we are here um trying <laughs> you know um i've had a day of football so i've had enough so i'm ready to uh make some deals that's good that's right. good i like that and on his way to new york comic-con this coming week glenn brunswick of panel page art brings his savvy social media presence here to make deals hello everybody hey. in youtube land <laughs> um you know i'm very excited about the uh, jets win today it's uh it's the beginning of a new era and uh um you know it's the first of many wins i'm like they're on a winning streak it's it's, it's good news okay two new, two new york teams winning in one afternoon is practically unheard of so it's true even you, the you, giants, should play, you should play the numbers today even the giants winning wow that's what are the I, I can't make that claim with my team, but anyway. We're here for comic art, not football. Who brought up football anyway? I didn't. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, he did. Let's right. uh, let's get rolling here. Glenn, you're up first. All right. All right, so here we have a beautiful Steve Lieber, uh, Hawkman page. Uh it's uh, from 1994. It's $375. It's got uh, just sort of like a fantastic uh, progressive images of Hawkman flying, building, great, great close-up shot of Hawkman. Just a really tour de force Steve Lieber page. Um, just a uh, phenomenal buy at uh, $375. Suitable for framing or unframing. But uh, whatever you decide to do with it, you will be very, very happy to have this page at the uh, low, low price of $375, Steve Lieber, 1994. That's my first item. Uh, my second piece is, oh, right, I don't have that. Um, my second piece is an X-Men Forever page by the, uh, the fantastic Tom Grummet. It's $400. It's got like lovely, lovely rogue images. I don't actually have the piece here with me, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd show you how fabulously beautiful rogue looks up there. But uh, uh, it is a, uh, a great X-Men piece from 2009 for only $400. Tom Grummet, uh, certainly uh, um, well known for his uh, uh, Superboy art, uh, does just a really great job on the X-Men as well. And that is my second offering. And my third is uh, just a fantastic, whoa, I have it upside down. A fantastic Snake Eyes prelim by uh, Rob Liefeld. Again, reminding 
all you guys about his process. He does these sort of eight by 10 pencil drawings, um, which really represent the finished page. He scans these into the computer and then inks uh, over the blue line. So these are really the only pencils uh, that you get of actual art by Rob Liefeld. This is just a great snake eyes shot of him uh, beating the villain. Uh, and uh, it is only $250. And uh, it was drawn this year, 2021. So those are my first three. Glenn, you have an offer on your second piece, the uh, Gromit X-Men Forever page from Jason of $300. <laughs> uh, $300. Jason, let's do, why don't, why don't we split the baby in half and do uh, 350 How does that sound? And as we get ready to move on, we'll see if Jason responds or if he responds uh, a little later. But Bashar, I think you are up next. Okay. Um, I mixed up some of my pieces tonight to, you know, usually I go, um, you know, least expensive to most expensive. But I figured just to throw some things around a little more expensive in the beginning and, and just, just mix it up a little bit. So my first piece is... From 1960, I mean, DC twice up, we've seen it going for a lot higher in the last number of auctions. So this one from 1960, Superboy with um, with uh, Martha Kent uh, using his powers. Um, these are twice up pages. For these price points, I'm, the, the future is, you know, people are going to want these early pieces uh, especially, we, we can't find pages, um, you know, DC pages in in the in the teens. You know, it's it's at one time we could we could find them a lot cheaper, but now they're, you know, they're, they're going to start disappearing. So it's 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 almost like looking at a a Don Heck Avengers page now. You know, oh, I used to get them for twenty five hundred. Now they're a lot more than that. So. Uh, you know, finding a DC twice up with a major superhero doing his thing um, is, you know, I think they're 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 good values for for things that you remember as as a kid reading. All right, uh, the next piece I have is um, is a Sunday, a Spider Man Sunday, uh, Saviak and um, and Sinet. <sighs> You know, I every time I put up uh, a Spider-Man uh, piece that's um, that's a, a strip, or a, you know, I don't have. I think this is the only Sunday I have. Uh, it usually disappears pretty quickly. So, uh, so having Spider-Man in a Sunday strip, you know, these these just don't pop up. I mean, um, you know, if you watch Heritage and seeing them go for ten grand for Renita Daily. <laughs> those you know we, we know what's happened in that market but um these sundays with him you know using his powers and swinging and they're 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 very collectible and i figured to bring actually um so if we can just if i can just interject for a quick second we want to know if uh gill said claim while you're presenting that and we just want to clarify that he is claiming the uh Saviuk uh amazing spider-man sunday if he can just chime in and let us know i think he's claiming both pieces i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay he's not joking okay so we'll, we'll we'll hold that available right there uh and see what's sorry hey well so maybe, maybe that was a mistake uh, okay yeah. we'll 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 see later that's fine um, next one, uh, I forget to bring out a Perez, uh, really nice action lace Perez Avengers page. Um, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, burn prices, Miller prices and Perez is not going to be that far behind, uh, Perez Avengers, a really nice one with action and, uh, some of the, the wonderful, I mean, I think, Will, this is your period, right? Uh, a little earlier, just a little earlier, but you know, no, it's, it's I bought that off the newsstand. Oh, you did okay, that's what I thought. 
<clears throat> a lot. I mean, these are, you know, highly in demand. I, I was able to pick this up in a trade and I was very happy to do so. And I figured I would, I would, um, I would throw it up here, you know, vision doing his thing, uh, Iron Man using his powers. Um, so many Avengers on this. It's, it's a, um, it's a wonderful piece. And, uh, and the bonus is signed by, um, by George. But um, th th these are the kind of pages that we've been seeing the prices of Perez go up. And, and it's, it's, you know, I mean, th these are th for the future. I think they're, they're, if you're lucky to find them at, at reasonable prices, then, um, then you grab them. All right. Those are the three. It's a cornucopia of an Avengers. <laughs> it is. Man, you guys you guys are so old that you bought some of this stuff off the newsstand. Next time I'm going to hear you guys got like an action one off the newsstand. If only. Yeah. yeah. Grandfather. I think that's your cue. Yeah, I don't. That's not the piece I was expecting here, but. Uh, oh, wait. Right. No, that's number six. We, yeah, there we go. Number four. There we go. All right. So uh, Mike Diodato had a phenomenal run on Spider-Man. This is early in his career and it is like sort of a three quarter, three quarter splash here. Just a, a great, great piece by uh, early, early Diodato. Um, Spider-Man Unlimited from 1998. And uh, just, this is a, uh, this is just a phenomenal piece by, by him. Um, he, uh, his, his stuff is, is really in demand and you don't really see my, many of these early pages very often, but, uh, certainly not a, uh, what it what is basically amounts to, uh, almost a full splash, but, uh, that is the first piece and moving on to the next yeah. one. Oh yeah. Next piece. Okay. No, again, five. That's... There we go. All right. So uh, this is a, a phenomenal painting by uh, by San Julian, who's well known for uh, eerie and creepy paintings. Uh, here he tackles Batman as his subject matter. The, the painting is in acrylic. It's twelve by fifteen. It's uh, beautiful colors. It's on canvas, actually not uh, not Bristol board. This is actual canvas. And um, bat signal. Just a, uh, a really terrific piece by San, the master painter, San Julian. And that is the second one. And then number six is a Sensational Spider-Man page by uh, Sean Chen. Uh, it's from 2007. This is a really, really nice action page. You've got the villain. You've got Spidey. You've got uh, great, great, great final panel there with Spidey and this is $750. So really, really nice. <laughs> these, uh, these pages from like the mid two thousands are, uh, are going to be like the next thing. They're like, you know, the two thousands will soon be the nineties. So keep that in mind. Anyway, there you have it. It's a never ending cycle. <laughs> you want to you want to you want you want to buy ahead when things are cheaper you know this is true the spidey 90s pages you know you can't you can't find one for 2500 so you know it's a sad day it's a bold I remember, I remember when yeah all right i think i brought a oh i think i brought a cap page with me all right that's good Ooh, actually uh this is a fun uh fun page um cap looks great uh this actually reminds me uh of like a bit of the style of the marvels with alex ross um this has a lot of characters it has a lot of the golden age characters also not just subby and human torch and cap but it has i think the wizard the patriot miss america uh it's i mean it's a wonderful wonderful page of of art if you're a cap fan and a and a golden age character fan with subby and the human torch and all those other wonderful um golden age characters 
So it's a, it's a bit of a throwback page, which is kind of nice. You know, if uh, you want to own a page that, that has a that vintage look um, done by uh, Brett Weiser, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's the first time I've ever, I've had this for, for years. And uh, first time I figured I would pop it out. So uh, from the Patriot number one, uh, I think somebody might enjoy this. And Alberto has made you an offer of eight hundred and fifty dollars. He said, "Eight fifty. I like. Uh, and what do I want? Twelve hundred. So I'll make it nine hundred. You want nine fifty? Okay. Oh, um, Alberto, how about nine for it? I think you'll enjoy that for nine hundred, considering it's a half splash. We'll move on to your next piece. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll as he's contemplating. Um, Wanted to bring a very reasonably priced Incredible Hulk page. I, I, I meant to, to let a few people know, and I forgot completely. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, Sal Buscema Hulk page, yes, with, all, with the characters. Without, uh, without the Hulk, which would be, you know, two to three to four thousand dollars or more um i forget to bring one that's very reasonably priced for somebody that would enjoy this wonderful period uh of the hulk so um so let's um let's uh offer this up for people to enjoy uh, you have a claim on that you have, one. yeah sure. you have two claims actually so alberto's accepting your offer at 900 he's kind enough to break the ice for us Oh, wonderful. And our friend Jay Giant is claiming the Hulk page. Excellent. Excellent. Good, good choice. A good move. All right. Uh, Congrats we'll to both of you. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, this, you got to take a really close look at this page. It's really moody. It's trimpy. Uh, with beautiful inks by Abel. It's dark. It has... You know, um, Iron Man just, just, it, it's, you know, I, I held on to this page for a while because I just thought it was, you know, I just, I, I enjoyed looking at it. Uh, you, how often do you get trimpy uh, pages by, you know, doing Iron Man? There's only a few issues that he did that have been broken up. Uh, and just, this is, you know, even without the, with the helmet and, and the, uh, and the iron, the armor looking so grand and i just i forget to bring this this really nice trimpy iron man page to the party and uh it just you know i i just really like it a lot and that's why i figured i'd bring it out at this time so um yeah when you take a close look i think you'll appreciate it more i have to agree with our friend michael finn the inking. I love Jack Abel's inks. Yes, Michael oh, yeah. has a great. keen eye. And I brought something special for Mike a little later. Well, depending if he thinks it's special or not. I think it's special. <laughs> it's for everyone. For everyone, Mike. not just for, for Mike. It's for the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think your next segment is up, Glenn. Let's see what you right. have. Let's see. I'm curious. I'm wondering what I have now. Hmm. That is definitely nope, not mine. That is not yours. <laughs> Those might be yours, though. <laughs> <laughs> that looks, that looks a lot closer to my <laughs> my piece here. So this is a fantastic splash. It's uh, it is the uh, the splash to Invaders thirty three. You've got all uh, all the invaders on on here: Cap, Spitfire, Submariner, Union Jack, Human Torch, and uh, in the middle is is the God of Thunder himself, Thor. Uh, this was a uh, issue where Hitler manages to bring forth Thor to fight for the Nazis, and uh, it looks like a, a a dire day for our heroes. But uh, um, this is just a key splash. Uh, it's by uh, Alan Cooperberg from 1978. The price is eleven thousand five hundred dollars. It's uh, just a phenomenal piece of art and piece of uh, history in terms of uh, the invaders. I love this piece. Um, I think the price represents how much I love this piece, but uh, uh, I think it would be like a phenomenal piece in anyone's collection. So 
that's uh, that's where we are with that one. And next we have um, this is a uh, a prelim, but again, it's on uh, it is on by Ron Garney on on um, it's full size on uh, eleven by seventeen Marvel stock. It's uh, this issue was the they went back to the black costume, the back in black, and this was uh, this was the final design that he used. Um, and uh, he he had done some other designs where Spider Man was smaller, but they wanted him to be bigger. So, uh, you know, he stretches out for the entire page. It's nine hundred fifty dollars. Uh, Spider Man five forty one from two thousand and seven, uh, and just a really really terrific Ron Garney piece. So that's the next one, and then. What if we have a, the great what if title? Um, again, this is by Alan Cooperberg from 1980. It's a what if uh, what if Aunt May was bitten by the radioactive spider and uh, got the spider powers. And here you see her in in action, battling the leapfrog. Or, and uh, I mean, look, she's uh, she's got a cute skirt and she's uh, she's kicking. Uh, Heine, as we like to say, although she is taking the brunt of some trouble here at the bottom. But this is a really great page, $650, Alan Cooperberg, 1980. And uh, What If, as we know, is really hot with the uh, the new series um, on uh, on Disney+. Plus. So uh, here we are. And you've amused Bashara. <laughs> Let me that's, tell you. you know, got a that's, kick not, out of the, that's not easy. I would, out of the spidey skirt. I would, if I was sitting in the audience, I'd really buy that page. It's just so much. <laughs> Come on, that's just you know, that's just fun. It is fun. It's fun. It is it fun. Is but fun. Spidey skirt. So, right. so Jordan, we appreciate the reminder. If if everybody could uh, hit the like button, uh, even follow us on Facebook or subscribe here to YouTube. I appreciate the reminder. I was uh, remiss in not mentioning that earlier. Bashara. Uh. Okay. You can um, hold back the laughter. You can show us your next three. All right. This is just a fun page that um, that <laughs> makes me laugh, actually, <laughs> every time I look at it. Um, I'll, uh, I'll trade you some what if pages for that one. Come on. This is, this is, this is, you know, I mean, is there a funnier um, pencil piece out there done by Jack than this piece? You was know, he thinking of Farrah Fawcett yeah. Majors at the time? I don't know. I think that it's like, would you really put my name up, name up in lights? Well, I know, I know what her name is is right now. I wouldn't. I was. I wasn't sure what kind of lights that are put up there, but but certainly um, Jack was having fun with this um, with this with this wonderful piece. Come on, Jack! Beautiful Jack signature. The price is right. I mean, it's you know. I, 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 if you're a Jack fan and you don't have a pencil piece by Jack, uh, then, then you're missing something from, from your collection. And this is just classically adorable and, 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 and just, you know, and, and the period is wonderful. And, and, you know, I mean, I think I have the, uh, I think I have the Cheryl Teague's version of that, uh, <laughs> Of, of that yeah, when, she, yeah. when she replaced Farah on Charlie's Angels. Yeah, well, well, I have the Wonder Woman Linda Carter version of that Ooh, hanging up Ooh, that in sounds pencil. Good <laughs> but, but no, I think it's it's a it's a wonderful. Uh, actually, I, I feel like I think I'm saying everything is wonderful. All right, not everything is wonderful. This it's a I wonderful really life. Mean, this one I really mean is wonderful. <laughs> All right, <laughs> where the others, uh, you know, only kidding. Oh. Now this one is fun. Um, this is 1953, out of the shadows. Uh, wh where do you find these pages? I mean, the the you know how many of these pages that are horror? Uh, the last page of the horror story. Um, you know the the pinnacle. You know the 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 monster is going to eat him, and there's revenge and. Uh, it's very reminiscent of EC, but yeah, it looks like an EC page. I was going to yeah, say it, it does really scream uh, of that. And it's just, this is a couple of years before EC, right? Well, no, EC was, was had had started uh, a little before this. 
but okay. uh, ran ran a lot longer. But pages like this, I mean, w beautiful uh, imagery. Uh, it's you know the the monster is is going to kill him. And 1953 for 1,400 dollars. I mean, where do you buy? You know, where do you find those those pieces? How you do you know, know the monster's going to kill him? It looks like the monster is just looking for a friend. Yeah, he's he's gonna. Yeah, he he found him. Yeah, he found <laughs> him. But um, I forget to offer something a little out there. Um, I think next time I am gonna bring a 1940s, uh, a, a mid 1940s piece into the uh, into the um, the show. So um, just warning you ahead of time. I'm gonna you know try to mix it up with all all different periods. That's what uh, we like. Okay. Uh, do I have? All right, I just want to throw a, you know, we all love, you know, Star Trek, and we all love Spock. So this is just a wonderful image of Spock along with the, the good doctor, um, you know. McCoy? Yeah, of course, of course, Dr. McCoy. But I call him the good doctor. Uh, it's, you know, they're, you know, Star Trek fans are everywhere, and uh, we love having... You know, if we can find a few pages with, uh, especially with Spock uh, being so prominent there, I forget to bring one out and um, offer it to the fans. And lastly, am I showing my last one? No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. You, um, you no, would have exceeded your mandate. We can't, oh, yes, we can't allow that to happen. Mandate. Yes. And and we need a drum roll for your last piece. I know it's quite <laughs> exciting. Yes, yes. I'll take a, I'll take a bread roll. I don't need a drum roll. I'll take a spring roll, but you're up with your spring last roll. piece. All right, my last piece is uh the Sensational Spider-Man 25 page. Uh last week I sold a Joe Bennett page mm -hmm. and thought this one is a fantastic Joe Bennett Joe Bennett page as well. That middle panel is phenomenal. Now we know that uh Joe Bennett uh uh has been uh, um, doing the Immortal Hulk, where uh, and and his pages have been flying off the shelf. This is earlier in his career, uh, 1998, and um, this is just like this is like tour de force storytelling. Um, the villain, Spidey, approaches. The uh, villain takes a shot at him. Just a great, great middle panel, and uh, final panel spidey's in just about every uh every panel here just really really terrific storytelling by by phenomenal artist it's fifteen hundred dollars joe bennett and uh just a really really fantastic piece here we go who's the villain glenn do you know uh he's just a very he's a very very bad man <laughs> You know, look at how look at how evil he is, and look at that gun. I mean, come on. I, I don't know who the villain is, uh, clearly, but uh, looks like uh, there's a couple. Looks like there's a couple different villains. Yeah. So, and that is my final piece of the evening. No drum roll for that one. Or bread roll. Bashar, are you ready? I mean, this okay. Is uh, <laughs> all right, this is not a powerful piece, but but I I, I left a, a, a just a just a reasonably priced piece at the end for somebody. But I do have a bonus piece that even even um, the guys don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just gonna show it off just in uh -oh. case just in case we have um, Michael still around to see if he if he'd be interested because I, I I didn't realize I had it sitting here a 1940s piece. But of course, first we have this piece, uh, which is a, um, which of course is a little Archie cover. You know, you know, if you want to buy somebody a nice little quick, an adorable little gift, and have it framed up for for one of your kids or something. Come on, it's a little Archie. Uh, you know, you know, I've had. If you saw my kids' rooms growing up, you'd see all kinds of things like this that were all over the place for them to appreciate. But, um, all right, here's the little, so there it is. I'm going to show a little bonus piece. Um, Mr. Finn may actually have, unless he already left, may actually have uh, 
a page from this story because I think I saw one page floating out there. It's from 1942. It's Smash Comics 34 from 1942. Uh, these pages don't come around very often uh, this early, but I think I did see a page from this at some at some point. But just a wonderful, I mean, during the war, uh, you know, Smash Comics 34, if you collect the comics, Smash was a great uh, uh, run. So uh, this one is $995. Um, so I just figured I'd throw that in there for somebody. It is the Marksman, by the way. Yes, you are right. Whoever made the, the remark about the Marksman, it's actually Major Hertz is the Marksman in this. So Mike, Michael Finn is claiming that, but he doesn't know how much he he's has to pay oh, you. Oh, it was nine ninety five. I'm sorry, it, it was nine ninety five. Yes. All right, he's he's claimed it for you. Now, no one told me we were doing bonus pieces. Well, I, 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 I had it laying around, around. like you know. I no mean, one uh, told me either. <laughs> I had it laying around, so I just threw it in. Wow! Wow! All and, right, and, we're going and, off script now. Yeah, yeah, off script. I'm like, wait a minute, I I have this sitting here, so. I, I, All right. Well, I'm 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 gonna sell my Audi now. How much? <laughs> okay. All right. Go the ahead. Star will get a couple demerits after the show. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But that's it. No, we we like that. We may, maybe we'll do that again sometime. Uh, apparently, Mike Mike thinks it's nine dollars and ninety five cents. So you may not have a claim. It's nineteen dollars and ninety five cents. <laughs> you better clarify. <laughs> <laughs> He's too slick. He'll probably wind up getting it for nine dollars ninety-five cents from me. Oh man! <laughs> if I if I knew you were that negotiating, uh, yeah. we'd be making deals more often. <laughs> okay. Well, he knows what it is: nine hundred ninety-five dollars and zero cents. <laughs> so there we go, Glenn. I think you are up on our rundown. Let's see. Right. Uh, let's see what what you can do here. Let's see what any of us can do here. Okay, so the uh, the Hawkman 13 page by Steve Lieber. <clears throat> uh, just a great, great page by a uh, master artist here uh, at a very, very affordable price point. But I can do uh, 325 if anyone is interested at 325 okay. Please take your claim now. This is a $325 page now. So there we are. We can move uh, on. Do we move on? Okay. So here's the page that uh, I was discussing with Jason earlier at 350. Jason, if you still want this page, I will do 325. 325. What a bargain for you or anyone else that wants to jump in if you are uh, not interested at 325. So, um, but I will give you a shot first at 325. There was some question earlier, just real quick. Somebody okay. said they thought they might have uh, the pencils this and, and question, was it a blue line? And as far as we know, it is not a blue line. It is pencils and inks. But right. I know I can speak for Glenn, myself, Bashar. If ever there's a piece of art that's represented to be pencil and yeah, ink. Yeah, I mean, if it, it turns out, out if it turns not, out they were wrong, obviously, you know, we, we would refund the deal. But uh, no, my understanding is that it, it is pencils and inks. So I don't know. I don't know what that other gentleman has that he was referring to. Yeah. So, but I I can do uh, <clears throat> anyway. I can do three three twenty five. Jason, are we there? Uh, and if it's not, and if it's not, you can you can send it back to me. If it's not, uh, okay. if it's if it's just blue lines. All right. Next. Um, okay. So next we have uh, this wonderful Snake Eyes prelim by Rob Liefeld. Um, I can do $200. That's as low as I can go on this if uh, anyone is interested. And $200. Jason did, did claim the, uh, the X-Men Forever page. We appreciate that, and congratulations, Jason. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it very much. Um, anyway, I can do $200 on, uh, on the, uh, the Snake Eyes prelim, um, which is uh, pencils, actual pencils by, uh, by Rob Liefeld. This is... Uh, an eight by ten piece, and um, it is the the actual layout for the uh, the published page. So, um, so that's and, and as you are Rob's rep, that is uh, that is cheaper than you normally sell those for, correct? It is, yeah, 
It is. So. Next. Ooh. Um, so uh, here we have. Um, uh, this is the uh, the Diodato uh, three quarter splash from uh, Spider Man Unlimited. I can do uh, fifteen hundred on this piece. Okay. If anyone wants to jump in, and you have an offer from our friend Jordan. Uh, he's offering a thousand for the Liefeld uh, prelim and the Garney, <clears throat> both prelims. Both prelims, yes, Jordan. I will take that deal and uh, I will accept your offer for both pieces. Okay, great, terrific. Thank you very much, Jordan. Appreciate that very much. So um, anyway, uh, fifteen hundred on uh, on uh, on this Diodato page, which I think is phenomenal phenomenal price for uh his very very early work i don't know I, this is uh really early on in his career so um and we want to uh, say good night to michael finn and congratulations and thanks to jordan real quick hey, michael. Michael. Hey, nice jordan. to have you aboard aloha mahalo <laughs> and i'm sorry please right. continue. Ahead. sorry <laughs> so um, do we want to move on to the next piece? Yeah, yeah. yeah here we go. Okay, so um, <clears throat> lovely 12 by 15 acrylic painting by uh, the master painter, San Julian. Um, Batman on his, looks like he's on his throne here. Um, just a phenomenal, phenomenal piece. Uh, acrylic, I can, I can go as low as 2250 on this piece. That would be my bottom line. Um, okay. And okay, this is uh, Sensational Spider Man, page by Sean Chen. Um, I can do 650 on this page for anyone that's interested. This is uh, um, just a, a, a lovely 2007 page. Great images of Spidey. And. Uh, Really nice page. Six fifty is uh, a really good price, I think, for that piece. So, okay. Uh, I love this piece, as I said earlier. Uh, this lovely Invaders thirty three splash from nineteen seventy eight. Thor, um, Alan Cooperberg. I can uh, I can drop it down to eleven thousand dollars, but uh, that's. Uh, that's the best haircut I can do on 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 this what I consider to be sort of like a piece of uh, Marvel history. So that piece we, we have already sold to Jordan. Aunt May in action, as you like her, <laughs> uh, as everyone likes her. I mean, seriously, can you really live without Aunt May kicking some villain bootie? I don't think you can. Um, I can do six hundred dollars. I can knock off fifty bucks and do six hundred dollars on this uh, on this fantastic what if page. My God, what a bargain! I, I you know, I know I know Bashara wants this piece. I would buy it. <laughs> so six hundred is as low as I can go on that. And I think we have my final piece. Um, I can do, uh, I can do thirteen hundred on this great page by Joe Bennett. Um, so uh, thirteen hundred uh, from a very early in his career. I think that middle panel speaks for itself. Um, you know, just a great layout of Spidey jumping, uh, evading the uh, the gunfire of the villain. Um, I think that's like you know. I, I wanted to end on this piece because I just think visually this is a, is a really, really striking page. Um, I really, really like it from the point of, point of view of uh, composition and, and, and panel progression. Um, I really think it's a, it's a it tell, sort of tells a complete story in one page. So um, anyway, 1300 is where I'm at. Okay. And that is my clean sweep. Okay.
We'll take it. I think I am up. You are next. You what are you next. The adventure, I believe. The the pap page, okay, with Martha Kent. And Superboy using his powers. 1,500 is the best I can do on that. Uh, considering what it is, I think that's I mean, from 1960. Um, pretty darn fair price for that. Um, you know, Superboy in action and all that, twice up. Um, okay, I think that says it all. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Um, oh man, this one's hard for me to to um um twelve fifty twelve fifty on it. Um, I, the only one I have. I don't have any um any more Sundays. I wish I did. Spider Man, you know, just so sellable. Um, 1250 is the best I can do on the, um, on the full Spidey, uh, Sunday strip. All right. That is easy. Next. Um, and even 5,000, even that, you know, I'm not going to be able to replace that anymore at that price. Even that is, um, more than I want to do, but 5,000 for the, for the, the Perez Avengers page, um, you know, just those pages just don't come around anymore. I wish they did. Um, okay, and that's easy also. Easy peasy. Easy to just go, okay, that's the best I can do. 5000 for this one. All right. Um, this one, um, 2300 <clears throat> is um is my my uh price that's that's it and you oh. have a claim yeah. on your sunday good. strip that michael was good, that was a good pickup congratulations good pickup. michael yeah. and we yeah. appreciate it yeah that's a good pickup good job michael that's that's a good one all right next farah farah i am actually uh i can't discount this piece so uh, I really put it down as as low as I I can I could take because I would you know I'd be happy to replace it at that at that price. So Farah and I may may very well live together for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, this is the closest as I was ever going to get to a Farah. So that's it. And having her you know drawn by Jack, come on, it's and actually it's a it's a decent size. It's it's probably bigger than you guys think. It's actually Probably nine by twelve. No, it's thirteen inches by by nine and a half inches. So okay, you're you're saying she's actually bigger than we think. Yes, she's actually oh she's actually bigger than you think. So that's really sixteen hundred is 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 the best for for a pencil that good. I mean, it's you know for all the detail he put around and then <laughs> shadowing and the no. Uh, Nothing like the uh, the stubble on her legs. I mean, no, that's come on. It's <laughs> um, with the, the band-aid and the, the hairband. I mean, it's if you don't have a Kirby pencil. In no, your it's head, a, it's a good looking pencil though. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's it's a really good looking pencil. Well, well, well drawn pencil. Let's well drawn pencil. Maybe not. Um, good what's the next one? Uh, you're out of the shadows. Oh yeah, out of the shadows. Thirteen hundred. I mean. How much more can I take off that? That's really, um, you know, you, though those pieces like this are are a little little um, part of the history of, of our collectible, you know, from the fifties, an end page for a monster uh, horror title that that I, I don't think I've ever seen any other pages from. So at thirteen hundred, <clears throat> I'm, 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 it's it's a good price. The next two. Um, 450, the Star Trek, uh, 450 for somebody that would like um, Mr. Spock in all his prominence. Uh, somebody to enjoy that. And last but not least is little Archie at 595. <laughs> yours hanging in your children's room for them to enjoy. And it's very, um, come on, you know fishing and 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 just 
you know, it has a special place for somebody somewhere. So that's it. I try to speed it up as quickly as I can. And so there you go. We are speed dating. I mean, speed yes. claiming here. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Something like that. So before we go, just a couple quick things. Just again, uh, you know, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Uh, hit the like button if you like what you're seeing. Uh, go over to our Facebook page and like and or follow us. Uh, if you have claimed any artwork, here is Bashara and Glenn's contact information, uh, email address, website, and Bashara's uh, uh, number to text if, if you have any difficulties uh, reaching him otherwise. And any unclaimed artwork is going to go on the Facebook, the Dealmakers Facebook page, which I'll say it'll be up in the next 45 minutes or so. And uh, the last thing I just want to mention is Despite the odds, New York Comic Con is taking place this week at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City. Uh, Glenn and I will be there, set up. It will be the uh, panel page, comic art page, dealmakers booth. I'm sure we'll see Bashara hanging out there. It's, um, uh, well, it's booth booth 3109. 3109. Yes, 3109. I was sure. I was getting to that in my uh, roundabout right. way. Uh, but come by and see us. We'll have, uh, you know, lots of art that you've seen on our website, but we will have new pieces as well. We I know that each of us plenty uh, of are going to be doing updates this week. I know Glenn is going to give a preview. Uh, I'm going to give a preview um, as, as we get closer to the show. I'm also going to do a small update, uh, most likely tomorrow. Uh, but, but, you know, throughout the week, look, look at our websites. Absolutely. Um, comicartpage.com panelpageart.com and nostalgicinvestments.com and you'll see lots of new pieces popping up. I think Bashar is going to start doing his regular Fridays and Wednesday updates. So yeah, every other uh, week. Maybe, maybe not every week with Wednesday, but uh, right, right, right. But yeah. it's coming this week or next week, Wednesdays and Fridays in, in next week. So, but if any of you, if either of you have anything quickly to add, I, I try to hit all the notes here with what we have no, coming. Well, I'm just going to say, I, uh, I'm going to be dropping something like 30 fresh new pieces at the show um, by various artists, 90s, 80s, uh, 70s, uh, covers, like all kinds of great stuff. And then also uh, I'm going to be doing a Rob Liefeld update as well. So, uh, and both of those will happen during the show, which, uh, which I've never done before. So uh, hopefully it won't be overwhelming, but I think it'll be fun. It's going to be busy. If, if we have any downtime at the booth, it'll get busy because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still debating what I'm going to drop during the show. I'm, I'm probably going to have, uh, I don't know how many, I didn't count any pieces, but it, it'll be a fresh crop of pieces, low end, middle, mid range, some higher end and, you know, but there'll be some fresh pieces for, for everybody to see and, you know, maybe even buy or offer me trade and, and my understanding is that Bashara is going to set up a little poker table right in front of our table and try and sell art from the poker table. So uh, yeah, or well, maybe he's just going to play people, poker. I don't know. People don't know. I'm actually not setting up, but I will be walking around. So if somebody wants me to bring something special, then just I didn't contact me. I didn't want to say that directly, but yeah, I, that's yeah. why I said you'll be hanging out at our booth. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> So, for yeah, a change, I'm not setting up that, that, us uh, hanging out at your booth. So right, there you go. That's right. I'm taking a little break. But on that, we will wish everyone a do. Hope to see you in New York. All that can make guys, it. Make, to make see sure you uh, register your vaccination. They are pretty strict getting people in there. So uh, there's an app you can download to save time on the Comic Con website. Uh, but hope to see as many of you there as possible. And uh, thanks for coming out tonight. We will be back. Uh, in three, three weeks. Uh, so October, Sunday, October 24th at 8 PM. And then the show after that is going to be November 7th, Sunday, November 7th at 8 PM. And then I believe after that Sunday, November 21st at 8 PM. So October 24th, November 7th, November 21st. On the Facebook page, I believe you're going to be putting those up. So I absolutely will be putting all these up. There you go. So you don't have to get your calendar out just yet. All right.
Keep right, it in mind. Bye, guys. Hope Enjoy to see you this week in New York. All right. Thanks, guys. It's been a lot thanks. of fun. Bye-bye.